This is our Rubber Rock S50. It's done 546 hours of cleaning, but now it's kind of dead. Now this isn't the first time I've had an error on this robot. In the previous video, you've seen me pull out the LiDAR module and switch it over. And I commented how easy it was. Like they've really designed for these modules to be pulled out and new ones plugged in. However, the current problem is it drives around doing its job until it eventually stops and says an internal error occurred, which isn't very useful. In the app, it did actually point there being an issue with the left wheel. So I pulled it out, checked the wires, plugged it back in, and it still has the same issue. Now I feel kind of bad because when a deal for a shiny new auto emptying robot vacuum popped up, I took it and the S50 went in the cupboard. But the new one I bought, the Vermi S9 Plus, sucked. Actually it didn't and that's the problem. That's right, vacuum joke. <laughs> uh... It got lost under the table amongst the chair legs repetitively, would randomly stop somewhere in the house with no errors. So glad I've got a robot vacuum to... Norm, what's it doing? I've returned two of those faulty vacuums now under warranty and I opted for a refund this time. So now I have no robot vacuum that works, which means it's time to fix the SV. I reckon the solder's cracked off. Let's heat it up and reflow. I'm in a truce. Starting the cleanup. Oh, it's working. Bro, it is jetting around. Ah! I fixed! I fixed it! Save some e-waste. Heck yeah, look at it go. What a beast. I just Googled how much it costs to just get a replacement wheel and it's 30 bucks delivered from AliExpress. I could have just done that months ago and not have had any drama. Granted, it only took me an hour to repair this. I have the tools and a bit of the know-how, so that helps, but it is very easy to replace yourself. There's no glue, there's no tricks, no tactics on hiding how to repair this robot vacuum. Actually, Roborock have their own guide on their YouTube channel showing you how to fix it yourself. This planet has finite resources and we shouldn't be wasting them on building products that are so cheap and unreliable that they just break with basic functions. This A plus example of repairability and reliable software. Yes, things break, but you can fix it yourself and that's awesome. You've done well, I'm proud of you. 546 hours, what a champ. Should trade it something. New filter. Take a fresh breath of air. You've earned it. If you like this vid, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it. So you can see future vids like my laser cut machine. They also create stickers. You've probably got it on the screen right now. It's insane. Things unreal.